we know that in order for transcription to start we need the minimal requirement of general transcription factors and RNA polymerase. Apart from general transcription factor, there are other transcription factors known as specialized transcription factor which binds to specific regions on the DNA and recruits activator or repressor and thereby regulating the transcription. Now, how a transcription factor binds to the DNA is a question of interest. It turns out that in transcription factor, there are specific DNA binding motifs which ensures the specificity of that specialized transcription factor to bind in a sequence specific manner and thereby activating or repressing transcription. In this video, we would get an overview of several DNA binding motifs used by the transcription factors to bind to the DNA. First, we would talk about helix turn helix motif or HTH motif. Now, HTH motif has two alpha helix followed by a beta turn and it binds to the major groove of the DNA. And HTH motif is roughly 20 to 25 amino acid long. Now, HTH motif binds to the major groove of the DNA through various interactions like hydrogen bond, Van der Waals interaction, etc. So the residues that are exposed in the major group from the HTH protein is actually binding to the specific bases in the DNA. Now, for example, there are specific uh, groups out of the HTH motif, for example, tryptophan or lysine that interacts with the bases, aromatic bases in the DNA. Lambda repressor, which is important for lytic and lysogenic switch in case of bacteriophage, is also having the same DNA binding motif, that means the HTH motif. So that's why HTH motif's function is pretty much conserved from bacteria to human. For example, another important classes of transcription factors known as homeodomain containing transcription factors, which are highly conserved with the 60 amino acids and encoded by a 180 base pair long DNA segment termed as homeopox have also this similar kind of structure that means helix turn helix but instead of two helix it has three helix and this helix turn helix containing homeodomain containing transcription factors are very important for segment polarity and patterning of both from a fly to a mammalian embryo. Another important DNA bonding motif is helix loop helix as the name suggests there are two helix and connected by a loop. Now, these helix loop helix containing transcription factor could form homodimer or heterodimer. In this example, it has been shown that they are forming a heterodimer. Now, there are leucine zipper motifs, which are also very important DNA binding proteins. And it comprises of B-zip family. Now, B-zip domains having 60 to 80 amino acid. Now, the leucine zipper has two broad structural importance. One is, at the end of it, it has multiple leucine residues, which are interacting with each other by hydrophobic interaction. And the region that interacts with the DNA's major group has several protrusion. It has a arginine residue, which protrudes out from the leucine zipper and interacts with the guanine residue of the DNA. And this specific interaction determines that whether these leucine zippers would bind to the specific sequences on the DNA, specific regulatory elements of the DNA. Now, the example of this leucine zipper is FOS or June. FOS and June are the end transcription factors activated by the MAP kinase signaling pathway. FOS has leucine zipper motif. Not only FOS, June, CEBP all has this same leucine zipper DNA binding motif and th thereby they interact to specific AP1 family of, of transcription binding region. Now another important motif is the zinc finger motif. Zinc finger motif as the name suggests, it has 
one or more than one zinc ion coordinated by several aromatic groups protruding out of these multiple alpha helix and beta turns. So these also bind to the major groove of the DNA and the specific uh, amino acids which are protruding out of these helices or beta plated sheets, they interact with the DNA. They interact with the specific basis of the DNA and ensures that the specificity of binding is maintained. Now, example of these uh, zinc finger are steroid receptors and thyroid hormone receptors. Thyroid hormone receptor is a in, it's a nuclear receptor. That means it's present in the nucleus. Once thyroid binds, it activates or represses transcription by interaction with coactivator and co-repressor. Now, these thyroid hormone receptor has zinc finger as DNA binding motif. And this zinc finger has specific two cystine and two histidine residues. That interacts with specific region of the DNA known as thyroid response element. And the specificity of the binding is ensured by specific amino acids protruding out of the zinc finger. And thereby, the zinc finger containing thyroid receptor, which is a nuclear transcription factor, can bind to the thyroid responsive element and give rise to transcription. So that was an overview of all the DNA binding motifs and the most common DNA binding motifs. If you like my video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. In my another video, I would describe all these DNA binding motifs individually in lot more details. So stay tuned. Thank you.